Oh dear, this isn't good, is it? Oh, you bitch. Nobody wanted this. She tricked you. I'd say this is one of the things that I really like about Ursula's a villain. She does deals. So, <laughs> you can't really blame yourself for the comeback you get from dealing with her. Because she lays it out for you. You've just got to be stupid enough to sign this contract. It's a little squid pro quo. <laughs> That's, I probably used that completely out of context, but oh well. Get it back. Come on, let's go. Um, quid pro quo is um generally unequal exchange or substitution of goods or services. So um, obviously, yeah. Ursula's schemes are never quite quid pro quo because um, since when has um, she ever done a deal where the price you pay is um, equal to the wish that she grants but it, it's a very clever thing to do and um, the other awesome thing is that um, they did the musical of um, Little Mermaid which I find quite funny and they used the joke I think it's used in the film it might be used in the film, I'm not sure but uh, it's I think there's a squid pro quo I, I, I quite like but then again I like my puns I like to be punny when I can it, it, it's just fun you know it's just annoying when things can get when things get fishy you know And also, this is one thing that I don't think many people... Oh, here's an aqua tank. I, I mentioned... No, I mentioned it in the last part, but you probably didn't get to see much of it. This is what it looks like, and it's... And the jet balloon, which appears only in um, Final Mix, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, yeah, as I was saying. I'm actually really scared of fish. <laughs> I'm fine when I'm looking at them in a tank. Uh, th th that's fine. If they can't get to me, I'm perfectly fine with them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just looking a little bit creepy and a little bit ugly. It, it, it's when there's sort of like they, they've got a chance of getting out that I, 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 I'm just like, Ugh. It just creeps the hell out of me. I think it's because um, when I was younger, a um, fish leapt out of a tank and I nearly trod on it. I think I might have trodden on it, but I thought I hadn't, and my sister told me I hadn't. To try and make me feel better, I think, and yeah, it was. Uh, I've never liked fish since that moment. I mean, I'll, I'll eat some fish if it's covered in breadcrumbs and so on and so forth, but um, yeah. I'm a big horse like that, you know? <laughs> oh no, we're gonna have to wait for the bleak. Oh, oh, we're gonna have to wait for the bloody dolphin again. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I, I've never liked fish. So <laughs> it's not as bad as my fear of frogs. I, I haven't. Had, I think I have a phobia of frogs. I don't know why. They just creep the hell out. Of when they're close by, it's just like, ah. Kermit's alright though, I like Kermit the Frog, Kermit's awesome. But Kermit's a puppet, so, well, he's not a puppet, he's a Muppet. But, um, yeah. The, 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 Kermit's the only frog that I'm fine with. Because <laughs> they're all slimy and... Warty and... Uh, just, no. Frogs, no, ew. You aqua tank! I hate you! 
Go die in a hole, you evil thing! Stop! Attacking me! Just want to grab onto the bloody dolphin! Please! Please! No! Prepare to die! Nothing will escape my wrath! Nothing! Right. Since I know he's gonna pass through here... I said nothing will escape my wrath! Hmm! Right. Since I know he's gonna pass through here... Let's, um, just... Wait. Oh, there he is! Oh, thank god. I didn't have to wait too long. Woo! Yay! Right, because if you haven't guessed, Ursula's, um... Cave... Lair thing... Is, um... Near the sunken ship! And, now that we've returned, we're gonna have to, um... Teach that shark some manners. Fire. Now, you can just um, go past him and not fight him at all, but um, where's the fun in that? And also, it's a hundred free experience points. Why pass that off? I mean, seriously. Especially considering you've got a boss coming up. Well, two bosses, technically. I must say that. The last worlds do like to do that to you. Because Agrabah had Jafar and then Genie Jafar. Monstro had Parasite Cage and then Mega Parasite Cage. Well, technically it wasn't any different, but it... Well, it was. It, it, it was bigger. Well, it wasn't any bigger, but it had new moves and stuff. So... Yeah. Here we've got... You'll find out. The same in the next world. And it's... Not quite the same in the world after that, but um, you do have two bosses pretty much right after each other, so yeah, I'd say the only exception in this second half of the game is the penultimate world, because that has lots of bosses in it. Um, let, let, let me count. Uh, one, two, three. That has a grand total of um, four bosses, if I believe. Plus the one that appears after you've left for the first time and return after you've returned. So, yeah, there's a lot of bosses in the penultimate world. <laughs> but it's nice to know that they've kind of got. Um, A kind of pattern going on, if you know what I mean. Because on the first ring you only had one boss at the end. Because you had Guard Armor, Trickmaster, Clayton the Stealth Sneak, and then Cerberus. Well, I guess you could say in Olympus Coliseum, you had Cloud, then Cerberus. But Cloud's not technically a boss. Really. Um. Then, obviously, you go to Agrabah and then you start getting all the twos. And then they just decide to jump to five. Well, four. Then they do another jump to about, I think it's like seven for the final world. <laughs> yeah, one of the most, one of the things that Kingdom Hearts is famous for is, um, it's incredibly long final boss fights. And because they're multi-staged and everything, yeah, I think the Kingdom Hearts one is about seven stages. It might, it's, I think it actually might be longer, but I don't know. So, yeah. Also, I like how this thing's giving us directions. Thank you, head of whatever you are. Tidal Abyss. Ooh. Um, okay, this is interesting. There. This place is full of those things. The 
pockets full of the poor and fortunate souls. In pain, in need, this one longing to be better than wants to get girl do does she help them? Yes indeed. The poor and fortunate souls. It's sad but true. Yaddy 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 yaddy. These poor unfortunate souls. Anyway, the way you take this boss on is you um launch magic at the um pool to reflect that it's back at Ursula so that you can then hit her. It's quite an interesting boss fight, I must say. But um, it, it it's it's sometimes difficult to know when you've hit her and the like. But um, yeah, if you want to have an easier time, just beat the crud out of Flotsam and Jetsam, and then just spam Fira, Fira. If you hear Ursula do that. Then she's been hit, so you can go beat the crud out of her with your big giant key. Yay for fire a spam! So yeah, she will periodically revive um, Flotsam and Jetsam, so watch out for that one. But. It's not too bad. There we go, she's been hit. I think a lot of people did find this boss quite hard. Because it requires you to use magic, and a lot of people did not use magic. Or do not use magic in this game. Even though it's ridiculously helpful. Anyway, one more round should do her in. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not this fight that people find frustrating. Oh boy, it's not this fight people find frustrating. <laughs> You will know the truth of my words very shortly. Oh, there! Oh! Oh. Oh, that was anticlimactic. And there go Flotsam and Jetsam. Her poopsies. You'll pay for this! So long, you overweight cow. Anyway, now we learn the mermaid kick which allows us to swim faster. Yay! Um I like how they've got this, it's quite cool. Nice little touch. Anyway, mermaid kick is only used here. Yay. Um But it it, it, it can come in handy. Oh, second window, that's going to be brilliant on Goofy. Now, what we want to do is leave and then come right back again, I think. Yes. Because we can get an item. Basically, there's now a sea urchin thingy by the clam. So what you want to do is use fear on it and it will blow up, opening up this clam And giving us access to a chest somewhere. I think it's on the floor. Yes, there we go. Mithril! Yay! I bet not a lot of people knew that was there. <laughs> Guess who's gone beyond the blade? Uh oh, under the sea. Under the sea. 
I must say, it, th this location in particular, it really does not work with Under the Sea. It's a little too serious to have Oh, doing the sun is level way going on in the background. It, it just doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, we shall, um, after having a nice little save, we shall finish off Atlantica! Yes! Ah, oh, it's nearly done! Woo!